Y'all, you gotta check this one out. The Sleep Near combined with Sea Serpent is the strongest combo in this weekly without a doubt. Basically, you just have to get the Sleep Near to 50 attack and it'll give 25 mana to the Sea Serpent, all right, who deals twice that amount to up to the three highest health enemy pets on Faint. These two alone can take out three 50-50s. This combo is incredibly powerful and easily slots into any build you're already running so long as you have two spaces available. You have got to try this one out. All right, starting out with some ants here. I think a goose could, could do all right here. Do some misshaped pots when you leave them on the burner for too long with nothing in them. What happened? Okay, just enough to tie. I think that'll be cool. All right, here. Axe handle for a little protection, perhaps. I think we just got to go with a little apple here. I hate all of these. <laughs> So let's let's cruise on here. Not what I was hoping for, obviously, but we will win actually somehow. That's huge. There's a couple builds that I have left on my agenda, if you will. Um, snail not needed. Do we get here? Nightcrawler. And I'll leave him in here just because he. He summoned a bunch, but don't get me wrong, I don't I don't want to keep him around or nothing. <laughs> Freeze the gingerbread because it's great with the cat here. So one of the builds. Huh? Wanna try get Huh? <laughs> what the heck am I watching? That was a horrible positioning. Clearly he's never used a woodpecker before. But I want to try doing a dragon with like a sleep near sea serpent combo um, and then also just get the lioness going so hopefully we can get something like that going here i will grab here and here let's keep the ant frozen for a second level me um maybe maybe we'll see oh dude nightcrawler is horrible <laughs> it's just a one one that does nothing oh that's a bummer I think we're okay though. Yeah. Hey, a big cat is a good good problem to have. Huh? <laughs> that was a weird way to word that. Um, okay. We could be going another mouse. I, honestly though, I kinda like this better. And then just kinda like throw in a porcupine for the fun of it. Just as like a flex unit. We're straying away from from the purely toy builds of the past. Huge. That is great. I mean, that couldn't ask for anything better. Don't like any of those. Uh, I think we... Honestly, okay, so we're tier 3. Not a whole lot going on here. And even if we level, these guys aren't fantastic either. Let's just stat you up a little bit. And honestly... Rock something like this. I pilled him because I don't want it to be triggering more camels unnecessarily. In case you were wondering. See, I mean, this hippo is going to do work now. There it is. Guess we should probably have the silk moth behind the hippo nowadays, huh? <laughs> That's my bad. We can definitely do that here. Let's see what tier fours we can find. Parrot. Parrot seems pretty shoddy, to be honest. You're not sticking around for too long. Level me. I mean, Hippocampus, we'll, we'll keep around for sure. Lucky cat me, hippo me. Okay. I mean, we're getting going. As long as we're keeping high health totals, I honestly don't care. Our health total is going to drop. <laughs> but that's to be expected. Level me. Boodle, we got two, four, four. So we'd have to get rid of both of you, but I don't mind that really. Um, okay, so we can't get a one, two, or a four. Oh. Huh. <laughs> well, that's going to be an issue. We also need to get some more lucky cats now. We're not getting the, the economy anymore since we leveled in. Huge. Okay, we need cats, we need hippos. Thank you. There's the sea serpent. I reckon we could probably run a sea serpent here. Um, give 
you a carrot, I think. No, we don't even need carrots. We need we need level ups. That is our highest priority right now. Um, give you some health. Also high priority. In case you're about to say, hey, you're just running a hippo build. <laughs> I promise we're not. We're trying to pivot. We just gotta get up to up to snuff, if you will. Freeze me. Okay, so I think. And the poodle isn't gonna stick around that long. Once we get the sleep near or whatever, he's gonna have to go. Fantastic news. Has it always shown this like plus zero, plus four when you're sat it out? I just now noticed that like a couple games ago. And if, if they haven't, that's a pretty cool addition. But I don't know if they have or not. Okay, so we're gonna do. We need to get the sleep near buffed, which means we need to get a. Oh, I don't know. Honestly, so it's based on attack, right? So maybe we do want this this hippocampus after all. We'll think on it. Not gonna go too crazy just yet. You're really good if we can get a pill. Level up here. Not needed. And we do want a donut on you. But you get all the the stuff, if you will. Alright, let's keep pressing. I don't know if that was actually good. <laughs> Undetermined yet, but we won, so we're good. Now we grow throw a donut on you. Roll me. I mean, a carrot is probably pretty good. Okay. I hope we don't win because we haven't actually shown anything off here yet. <laughs> I think we're about to if we don't win here. It is nighttime, so the werewolf is huge. Okay. Honestly, as weird as it sounds, I'm glad we lost there. I think it works out better that way. Um, sell me, go here. We need a pill. Uh, I don't think we need another sea serpent. I'm definitely not going to have the runway to do that. Dragon's too little too late. Just pill me. Pill me, please. <laughs> Dude, where are all the pills at? Alright, that's fine. So now instead of hitting the front two, all of these five, ten mana are going to go on to you. It's not great right now, but... You see the idea. You know, we're getting somewhere. Wait, what? It doesn't actually convert. Well. Apparently the donut doesn't actually do that. Here I am looking like a fool with my pants on the ground. Okay, keep rolling. Okay, so then what's the point of this hecking donut then? <laughs> Why do we have a donut here? I should have frozen that guy. We're getting close, actually. Okay, a draw is great. <laughs> That's our, our best news yet. Okay. Just keep rolling. Keep rolling, see what we can find here. That's huge. Be a ton more attack. Okay, so in light of this discovery, we're gonna have to readjust our our plans here. <laughs> oh man, that's embarrassing. Alright, at least we won. We didn't throw with it, but yeah, I really thought the donut would have stolen the, the sleep near's mana buffs, but apparently not. <laughs> no more you know. I like the early ant and silk moth. Maybe even a duck? Will be some menacing socks. Y'all ever wear fuzzy socks? I don't even know if that's like technically what you call them, but like those wintry socks that usually girls wear, but <laughs> I'm wearing my wife's right now. They're very comfortable. Would recommend. Um, let's combine here. Rock something like that. What do you got for us? Ouch. Not cool. Alright, we'll take a draw. 
Agree to disagree. Alright, try to get a level here. Start out with a stoat, maybe? The snail's not gonna cut it. Try again. <laughs> I'm back, baby. The number of times... I'll just get you for a 5-2, even though we don't have trumpets. Number of times I get a snail off of a stoat. It's a little bit ridiculous, I think. <laughs> like, that shouldn't happen as often as it does. I don't think, at least. I must have weighted the snail differently. Alright, get rid of the goose. Level me. We could rock an elephant, but I would venture to say that a fish is a little bit more appealing. We don't have to pill it early anymore. Or not yet, at least. I don't think we have to worry about camels. Oh, we're gonna have a giant cat. I love it. Oh no. We got so close. Yet so far. Alright, give me a good tier 4. Hippocampus is a good tier 4. I think it's worth throwing him in. Honestly, dude, we don't need an elephant. We're too good for that. We're better than that. Okay, okay. Huge. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like we're so close every time. It's just not quite getting there. I'm fine spending one gold to... to potentially pop off here. Okay, roll me. Go here. I think we run it like this. Freeze the ant for a level up next turn. But we'll at least get a bunch of... or not a bunch. We'll get one one on these three <laughs> and then one health on you. Which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Oh, oh baby, we're doing it. Alright, love it. We're on the board. Level me. I mean, I do love me a good silver fox. That's for sure. Um, that's gonna have to be a no for me, dog. Running like this. Maybe we'll try an old mouse. Maybe. Let's we'll see. Oh, we get two gold triggers. I love it. That's huge. Alright. Throw some garlic on you. Um, I think we can commit to the old mouse here. Betta fish with the pill could be solid. This one spend 12 gold, alright? Yes, spend 12 gold, you get a bunch of attack. Oh, that's not good. Man, that chili goes hard. Okay, so we go here. I still feel like giving a chocolate equivalent, like the experience health, should count for Hippocampus, but you know. Who am I to say? We'll go here. Um, we could rock a betta fish, potentially. Unless we just go... Would gingerbread man be better on you? Hold on. Five, two, four, four. Boodle territory? Because we are getting rid of the old mouse here in a second. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, <laughs> baby. We're doing it. Okay, we found a sleep near. That's big. I think we can get rid of you. Um, I don't think we need you anymore. Honestly, we might be getting rid of Hippocampus here shortly. Just considering that he's still a level one. And we haven't found a single other one yet. Riddle me that. How does that make sense? Make it make sense. <laughs> Carrot me. Okay, so we're getting 2-1 on pretty much 4 units. That's great. Honestly, dude, draws are great. That's just, I see it as more runway for interesting content. <laughs> That's how I view it. How do we have 17 gold? That's insane. Alright, um... 
I don't think we need you. Is it too late for Lioness? Yes, yes sir. sir. I think it probably is. We would have had to get it pretty early. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, man. How do we want to do this? Maybe even give you a carrot. Yeah, let's give you a carrot. Freeze you. This, the sleep near should be more front, I think. Oh, he's running sleep near too. What the heck? I thought I was original. I didn't think anyone was running sleep near out here. Um, go here. Level me s almost. Huge. Who do we care about more? Probably you. Once we get you to almost level three, we'll be getting an extra two gold every round. Which feels insignificant compared to the silver fox, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, maybe it is insignificant. We're gonna be honest here. Oh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, huge. Oh, dude. It's happening. I'm gonna give you a mushroom. Dude, they're all so close. Once we get sleep near level three, I think we're golden. Well, then we have to get Sea Serpent too, but you know. That'll come. That'll come with time. How much gold are we getting here? A million dollars. 18 gold. Crazy. Oh, speaking of Sea Serpent. Um, freeze you. I don't think we want you just yet. We could probably ditch the poodle next. You might be thinking that sounds crazy. <laughs> Oh, I love it. All right, we'll ditch him. Go a little something like this. Hey, we actually found another hippocampus. <laughs> but I guess right now, what are we... What are we really giving attack on, right? I guess we're getting attack on the sleep near still. Just from this carrot. Beautiful. That's how I pictured this whole build working. <laughs> this is straight out of my my brain. Oh my lord, are we actually gonna get a level three homie? We already got level three sleep near. Okay, so now we just need targeted buffs on the sleep near and sea serpent level three. And then we're golden. Just let him naturally get to the 50 attack. They ain't got nothing on us after that. Lord, that is so strong. What is happening? Y'all. Dude, they say like streamer luck, you know? This is one of those that feels like, I'm not streaming, but it feels like streamer luck right now. <laughs> Just everything going so perfectly. Do we have targeted foods here? We got the just right porridge. That's about it. We don't even really care about chocolate, do we? Just the just right porridge, that's all we want. Not interested. There it is. I found the porridge. That's an extra two attack. <laughs> it's huge. Alright, we're still ranking up the sleep near. Almost to 40. You don't even care about triggering this camel a bunch of times. <laughs> Cause that guy's just insane. The sea serpent is popping off. Again, we're just looking for porridge right now. I don't want anything else. I don't even need a mushroom or anything on this guy. Cause it's just based on mana. Keep going. Eats is tempting, but like, what are the odds we're gonna hit this guy, you know? I'd rather just roll for porridge. <laughs> we did not find another porridge, but we found a lot. I mean, you can't be disappointed with that porridge turnout. It's just right. Silly little dragon fire. <laughs> How have I not tried this out earlier? Holy Christmas. This sleep near with the sea serpent. Let's, let's keep in mind here too. When I originally did my my first reaction to everybody, 
I was off on a lot of them. I'll be the first to admit, because they're all busted. I didn't think they were all going to be broken. But I was saying, sleep near Sea Serpent. You know? KO three fifty fifties with one pet. Seems pretty good. And it is. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, drop a like, comment, sub. It means a lot. Helps out a lot. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.